What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video, Crypto Tro. And today we're going to talk about MM Finance and the major things that they just announced for the MAD token. If you don't know about the MAD token, it's one of the most popular tokens on or in the MMF ecosystem. And although it has tanked like crazy, they just announced some things that I believe could be bullish for the token. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to get straight into that. But before we do, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. I got multiple videos on MM Finance. And also, I got an entire playlist on it as well. So check out the YouTube videos. Check out the channel. And get all that alpha information you need about Mad Meerkat Finance. And also, I got to let you know this. I am not a financial advisor whatsoever. I am a Deegan, man. I am a Deegan. If you don't know what that means, I like to gamble my money on crypto. So, <laughs> we might be the same and we might not, but whatever I'm saying, this is what I'm personally doing. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing and chronicling my journey in the crypto space because we are in one of these asset classes that's going to change lives forever, man. So, we are super early. Always consult with the financial advisor before going all the way in on crypto so enough of that spiel let's get straight into it mad books what we looking like man so right now i'm on deck screener and i'm on the mad mmf pair right now and we can see man mad is at 18 cents down 14 percent on a day so a big sell off on a day and we can see mad has dropped like tremendously since it debuted but everybody knew that um i knew that just simply for the fact that it had no true utility at the time and it still kind of doesn't have any utility right now only thing that's being produced is on through the tree houses they're printing mad but a lot of people just getting it and selling it off for profit so right now it doesn't have a utility too much but i'm really excited to see when they actually drop the game and they actually got some alpha information in the discord but i wasn't able to join the lounge at that time but they got some good alpha information that's coming out about the Mad Meerkat Arena. So that should boost Mad price up just a tad bit. But we are down today. And a lot of people been asking me, do I hold Mad? Yes, I hold Mad. I'm still printing off with the treehouse. So I'm not, I'm still using my treehouse to, you know, have Mad. I'm really just hodling it because it won't really be worth selling it right now because, I mean, I didn't truly make a profit. And if it goes to zero, like I said, I'm a digging. It is what it is. I didn't risk anything I couldn't lose. But this opportunity, I believe, MAD could go back up just because of the use cases that they just started talking about. So let's go to the actual article. Let's get into it. So the springboard of madness. I'm not going to read this entire article. I'm just going to read the things that caught my eye and that I think are bullish for the MAD books and the MAD token itself. So let's get into it. Let us first begin with a short recap of MAD. Discussions first came about during our early PlayThink meetings as early as January. During these brainstorming sessions, the team constantly pushed the madness beyond boundaries that we have set for ourselves and found ourselves in a situation where there was so much creativity to expand on and so many potential partners who were keen to build upon the ecosystem. There was a strong need for a utility token to create an economy to allow people to transact and purchase the goods and services that they desire in our Mad Meerkat Bureau ecosystem. So Mad Books is the answer to this and ties all such initiatives together. Here are some links you can refer to for more detailed information about the tokenomics. So if you want to get in tokenomics, you can get into that. But something that caught my attention, at that point in time, we saw three main use cases for Mad. So you got the Mad Meerkat Arena, which is the upcoming game crypto game for the mad meerkat finance or the mad meerkat bureau ecosystem then you got minting the deegan mad meerkat nfts and for chronos project partnerships and so as of writing of this of as of this time of writing the use of mad for our mints has been implemented and development of mad meerkat arena is underway while the final one has been expounded upon the least due to the nature of collaborations being dynamic to changes this is a pillar that the team has been and still are excited about so 
this article will reveal more about these developments in a bit but first let's just talk about the obstacles mad had so let me be the first to openly admit mad journey thus far has been one characterized with significant headwinds Although the intentions and vision format were ingredients necessary to challenge current lim limits and created a structural vulnerability that was hard to defend when the bearishness elevated. In other words, as market sentiment worsened significantly, new coins with lower market caps will always be the first to be badly hit. And I got to say this too, not only newer coins with lower market caps, but also coins that don't have a true utility. People are going to sell those coins that are pretty much being formed to produce people are going to sell those especially in the bear market because they're trying to get profits so by that as it may this is another challenge for us one that will eventually overcome starting first with the new emphasized focus on burning mad so very bullish they plan on emphasizing the focus on burning mad so by expanding our efforts and further reducing supply it alleviates bearish market sale pressure exerted on new coins moreover as the market improves in the longer term mlb will then be able to continue its trajectory of launching new products which will of course include mad thus enhancing the value of mad given its reduced supply with added utility unique to mm as well is the fact that these burning mechanisms can be seamlessly interwoven with our current plans involving mad so we're looking forward to the future mad burns we already know a lot of mad has been burned already i'm not the not sure the exact count um but we know with the mad crows they burned and also i think it was another project they used mad that burned the tokens as well so it's already some out of circulation so it's becoming more and more scarce and it's something that's big especially when you add the utility to it and we know mad meerkat arena is coming very soon i think Mad's gonna play a big part in it so what's the future plans for mad so number one is mad brand collaborations so Percentage of the proceeds from all generated profits from MM Collabs will be used to buy back MAD from the public and burnt. So, for example, Evergreen Merch and Crypto Beans Coffee products going forward, percentage of profit earned by the team will be used to buy back MAD from the public and burnt. So, number two, we got the MAD Merge. So, the MAD Merge will play a pivotal role for when the full details of MAD Merge is announced. All mad curry as a result of the merge will be burnt. Mad cross chain is the third one. So mad cross chain, yes, mad will be going cross chain. At the moment, we have completed the foundational work behind bringing mad cross chain. The current rationale for doing so is to expand the market audience for mad and by extension demand. With greater exposure, there is minimal downside but more upside in doing so. Example, higher possibility of greater liquidity. However, I am choosing to develop another utility for MAD on this next chain in a matter that benefits the overall MMB ecosystem. Thus, MAD will go cross-chain eventually. So, when MAD goes cross-chain, I hope they don't make a new token and say that's cross-chain. Please, let's keep the same amount of tokens in there and let's just actually bridge some MAD over to a new chain. I think that would be like the best thing or the most, the uh, I feel like the smartest thing they could do is just do it like that. But don't make an entire new crypto, man. Don't, make, don't do it like we did mml because that is crazy so mad nft launch pass so this is the biggest thing so the main point of this article so we see mad nft launch pass today i am pleased to announce that we will be building an nft launch pla platform to support non mm nft projects amongst the various experiences of our entire mm core team we have learned that meaning Full success is one that is characterized by winning together. As individuals, there's really only that much that we need to feel satisfied. After a certain point, accolades become increasingly unnecessary for us. Nothing beats that priceless feeling of helping others succeed. We're built mad. So we knew that when MM was at its peak, projects from all over would reach out for all sorts, collaborations, and partnership. We have been testing MAD as a form of minting with a few good projects, but the key problem still lies in identifying who is serious about actually building. At MM, we take partnerships seriously, and our assessments of potential partners is akin to us in real life actually getting to know you where we form genuine relationships. Such processes take much research and time, or resources and time, all of which we do not really have as well. What we do know, however, is if a bear market struck hard, this issue corrects itself. 
Founders with questionable motivations would leave on their own accord, while the rest who remain are those who are intrinsically motivated for their own personal reasons, and you can probably see them bidding as hard as ever. So, what's the mechanics behind the mad lunch pad? So basically, MM will be adopting some of the features that we have currently been doing well and also a couple of new ones that we think is a good fit. For example, we will be doing whitelist giveaways from NFT projects on our launch pad. These whitelists or giveaways will be shared via a raffle ticket format. More on this later. So more, most importantly, these projects will be sharing about their project through public spaces hosted by the founders of MMB, Sequence, and Canvas. You can expect spaces characterized by the madness. To be clear, as per the situation or current situation, these projects are still no endorsements by MM. See it as an alternative manner of assessment for yourself to decide if you want to support them. So example of a mad NFT launchpad timeline of events. So you got the announcement of feature NFT project, summary of projects, vision, roadmap, and links, announcement of number of whitelists and giveaways, raffle tickets for whitelists and giveaways to be purchased, raffle tickets purchased in mad. So USD, that's two to five dollars for a ticket. So all mad occur will be burnt. That's wonderful. Then we see the announcement of public spaces hosted by Canvas and Sequence. Then we got the NFT meant to be raised in mad, of which 15% will be burnt from total raised amount. So the underlying logic, since mining requires mad, price of mad should go up due to demand to partake. Even though the project team will sell raised mad to stable slash fiat, it is a net positive effect since there is a 15% burning. But... There are some issues we run across when it happens in a bear market. So bear market, the market is extremely bearish, resulting in lack of quality NFT projects. Hence, pipeline is short. Market is extremely bearish, resulting in lack of confidence and mad regardless of development. So we'll be the first NFT launch pad, which means price of mad might not see the initial increase as we predicted, given that there are already existing mad holders from before, and we do not want to create a pipeline for the sake of creating a pipeline. So low liquidity plus difficult to increase confidence to hold mad in this current climate equals team suffers. Well, the temporary change is instead of raising in mad, we will be raising our NFT launch pads in Crow, of which 15% of the raise amount will be used to buy back mad from the market and burnt so the change is instead of mad it will be crow but they still will buy back 15 percent of it and burn it so the rapid ticket system will be implemented at a later stage so that's basically what's going on right now in the mad ecosystem the mad meerkat finance ecosystem and i'm very bullish on what they have planned for mad like i said we are in the bear market so it could, you know, go either way, but I love what they're doing. I love the announcement that they made, and I love that they continue to burn more mad. So that's my video for today, Crypto Tro. If I added value, hit that like button, hit that notification button, and also hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm out of here.